Don't cry wolf. Understanding idioms in English. Hello everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English idiom. Don't cry wolf. This phrase has a unique history and an important lesson that's useful in everyday communication. So, let's dive into understanding what it means and how you can use it in your conversations. The phrase, don't cry wolf, originates from one of Aesop's fables, a collection of stories credited to a Greek storyteller named Aesop. The specific story is about a shepherd boy who tricked the villagers into thinking a wolf was attacking his flock. He did this multiple times for fun. However, when a wolf actually appeared and he called for help, the villagers didn't believe him, and the sheep were harmed. This story teaches the importance of honesty and the danger of false alarms. When someone says, don't cry wolf, they are advising against raising false alarms or making exaggerated claims for attention. It implies that if you often lie or exaggerate, people might not believe you when you're actually telling the truth. It's a warning about the loss of trust and credibility that can occur when one frequently deceives others. This phrase is commonly used in various contexts. For instance, 1. In the workplace. If a colleague frequently overstates problems, you might say, be careful not to cry wolf. Otherwise, we might not take it seriously when there's a real issue. Two. In personal relationships, advising a friend who often exaggerates to not cry wolf, especially in serious matters. It's a versatile phrase that's applicable in many scenarios where honesty and trust are at stake. Don't cry wolf isn't just an idiom. It's a cultural reference that appears in literature, movies, and other forms of media often to highlight the consequences of deceit. Different cultures have similar sayings with the same moral. Understanding these expressions can enhance your comprehension of English literature and media. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase, don't cry wolf, more confidently in your English conversations. Remember, it's not just about language. It's about the values of honesty and trust in communication. Stay tuned for more interesting explorations into the English language. And thank you for watching.